Good morning, colleagues. I rise today to share the sad news that last week alone, three Detroit area children became victims of unintentional gun violence where they or another minor accessed an unsecured firearm. A 14-year-old from Orion Township fatally shot by his best friend while his mother was downstairs. A nine-year-old boy wounded by an unsecured firearm he found in his mother's purse. And another 14-year-old from Detroit who was shot by his 10-year-old brother with his father's gun while they were playing, imitating a video game. These three children are three more victims that have been affected by the distressing national trend of accidental gun violence. Unfortunately, they are not unique. More than two million children in the United States live in homes where guns are held and not securely stored. Last year, there were 247 unintentional child shootings in our country. And Michigan, sadly, has one of the highest rates of unintentional child shootings, with 18 incidences reported in our state last year alone, and seven already in this calendar year, on March 30th. 65% of unintentional child gun deaths take place in a home or vehicle that belongs to the victim's family most often with guns that were legally owned, but irresponsibly stored. More than two-thirds of these deaths could have been avoided if the gun owner had stored their guns responsibly. For that reason, we must correct our laws to ensure that our children are protected from unsafe, unsecured firearms, firearms in their homes and the vehicles they're driven in. It's for this reason, you heard read in today, that I'm introducing bills titled Child Access Prevention. My legislation is mindful of our Second Amendment rights. In fact, these bills specifically affirm that minors will be allowed to possess firearms during employment, ranching, farming, target practice, and hunting. What they do is require responsible gun ownership by compelling gun owners to securely lock and store their firearms in their homes and by requiring sellers of firearms to inform buyers that they are required to safely store and lock their weapons. Laws like these save children's lives. In one study of 12 states that have enacted child access prevention laws, after one year, those laws having been enacted, unintentional deaths among children under the age of 15 fell by 23%. Unintentional deaths avoided. And another study suggests an association between child access prevention laws and lower suicide rate, finding an 8.3% decrease in suicide deaths among 14 to 17 year olds where these laws have gone into effect. Americans are tired of unintentional child gun deaths and injuries. A recent nationwide survey found that 67% of respondents supported laws to require owners to lock up firearms when not in use to prevent children and teenagers from accessing them. Colleagues, I urge you to take a moment to remember the children who have recently been the victims of unintentional gun violence. Then take another moment to consider how we might take action to prevent these tragedies from occurring in our state again. Child access prevention laws work. It's time for Michigan to enact one to protect our children. Thank you, Mr. President, and I ask that my comments be printed in today's journal.